the word of God you will receive grace with is John chapter 1 verse 29. Based on John chapter 1 verse 29, I will preach with the title, The Little Lamb of Christmas. I hope you and I receive God's grace. The Israelites were a colony of the superpower. The Roman Empire. They didn't have freedom. They had to give tax to the Roman Empire. They were in despair. What did they wait for? They believed that the Messiah, whom the prophet prophesied about, would come to save Israel. When they were looking forward to the Messiah, John the Baptist came and said, Repent! For the kingdom of heaven is near. But his message was out of ordinary. Those who listened to him couldn't help repenting of their sins. He was out of ordinary. They thought that he might be the Messiah. So they asked him, Are you the Messiah whom the Lord promised to send to save Israel? No, I'm not. You are not the Messiah, then why are you telling us to repent? When you repent, you can meet the Messiah who will come after me. He is the one who will take away the sin of the world. When they heard what John said, they realized that he was the Messiah whom they expected. They were expecting the Lord who will set Israel free from Rome so that Israel would rule over the world, which is Zionism. But he said, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He was not the one whom they had been expecting as the Messiah. Why? They had a wrong expectation of the Messiah. They misunderstood the Messiah as the one who will set them free from Rome and let them rule over the world as the chosen people. I thank to the Lord that you and I don't misunderstand Jesus. God sent His only Son. The only Son means that there is no other one who will succeed to the Father so he is necessary to his Father and should not die ahead of him. He absolutely needs to his Father. God sent the only Son, Jesus Christ, to the earth. We call the day he came to this earth Songtan, which in Korean means holy birth. However, many people have been born on the earth. Nobody else has been said to have a holy birth. So, when Jesus was born in Korean, we call holy birth. Why? 
because he is the only one. Song in Chinese character means holy. It means that he who was innocent was born. When he has no sin, he can take away the sin of the world and mind. If Jesus came as a sinner, he should die with his sin, then how can he take up our sin and die instead of us to save us? So we can understand that he is our savior through the world, holy birth. Jesus is who is in very nature God. The world became flesh. He came to save our sin, which causes curses, sickness, and all kinds of suffering. He came to solve man's sin problem, which will take man to hell after death. He came to die on the earth, taking up man's sin. So John said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Who being in very nature God did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Philippians chapter 2, verse 6 through 8. Why should he die on the cross? He was born innocent. He died first for me and for all human beings. This is the faith of Christianity. If you understand, please say Amen. Amen. People don't know the will of the Lord. Why He sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, to this earth. And why he came in flesh. The devil tries to make us misunderstand Jesus. If we understand what Christmas means, people will believe in Jesus and be saved. The devil's work tries to deceive the elect to take them to hell. If that were possible, he is our enemy. If you learn from the devil, you will think that Jesus was born as one of the poor saints of humans on Christmas Day. But if you learn from Jesus, you will know that he is your Savior. It is very important from whom you learn. The world makes people, regardless of being young or old, man or women, rich or poor, think that they can freely commit Sin on Christmas Day. Parents even sin to allow their children to meet their friends late night. Normally, parents don't allow their children to go out to meet their friends late at night. 
But on Christmas Day, it seems to be all right for them to be home late. They are crazy for the things that are deadly and destructive to their body and soul. They wish all the days of the year is like Christmas. Though they are doing deadly or cursed things, which will cause them to go to hell, they don't know what they are doing. Is Christmas Day for that? Though we don't know what Christmas Day is, might do like that. But do those who know what is past time to idle away? He came to die for me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. How shall I do with his grace? What can I give him? How shall I repay his grace? However, I give thanks to the Lord with praising. Thanks and offerings, it is not possible to repay the grace of the Lord who died for me. I have received so much grace from the Lord. But if I bring curses, destruction, and even burn my soul in hell, it is extremely different. From why Jesus came to this earth. Why? Because you don't know what Christmas is. When I was young, I had three happy things on Christmas Day. What were they? First, Foreign countries gave aid to Korea, and they handed it out on Christmas Day. When I received good things, it was like hitting the jetpot. Second, it was important how many times I have involved in Christmas Eve celebration. Sometimes I was involved seven times or eight times. Why? There were not many Sunday school students. I just sang a song not knowing what Christmas Day is. We asked each other, how many times did you perform? We were so proud of it. I could do more than the other because my older brother was a Sunday school teacher. It was thankful anyway. I had no idea why I was doing it. There was one more good thing on Christmas Day. If I hadn't been absent from Sunday school for the year, I expected to receive three bags of cookies. Ah, cookies. Where could we get cookies at that time? I was so happy. There was one more good thing on Christmas Eve. We went carol singing. I didn't know what joy was. I just sang, Joy to the world, the Lord is come. When they listened to our praising, they opened the door and asked us to come in. I thought they were going to give us red bean porridge. It was so happy to eat red bean porridge. So I longed to go carol singing so much. In another house, they gave us a bag of cookies. I saw who received it and then went after him. I asked him what he would do with the cookies. He said that we're going to share it with those who went carousing because I should be with them to share the cookies. That was Christmas for me. That's all. If I died at that time, 
Where would I go? I must be in hell. I didn't know who Jesus was then, so how could I go to heaven if those who say that they believe in Jesus don't know why Jesus was born? They should go to hell. Why do they believe in Jesus? Jesus was born to save those who are perishing. We believe in Jesus to live. How? I should die, but the Son of God died instead of me, so my death is final. Therefore, I can live by believing in him. Today, what should we do on that day? How should we spend the day? Think about it. When someone receives grace, they will not forget it and will give thanks for that. We should have the heart to repay the grace that we have received. We should feel hurt in our consciousness. We should repay it. So those who are saved by the Son of God should give thanks to the Lord forever. Let us glorify, praise, and obey the Lord throughout our lifetime. Let us evangelize and win souls to fulfill the goal which Jesus died for man. It is the freedom of consciousness of those who have received grace from the Lord. I bless you in the name of the Lord to have the holy freedom on Christmas Day. Jesus knew that man could not avoid punishment and go to hell, committing sin, building the tower of Babel, of sin by the devil, Satan, and demons who are the enemies of the Lord after death. So he says, you should not do that. You should not go to hell. The sin you are committing is the devil's work. You should get out of there. The Bible says, He who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. What's the devil's work? It makes us commit sin to take us to hell. He just came to destroy it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. In my youth days, when I knelt down to pray in the church, I thought, how did I receive such a blessing that I can pray? So many people don't believe in Jesus except a few families in the village. How did I meet my mother who believed in Jesus that I am praying like this in the evening at church? So I praised the Lord up to 12 o'clock wholeheartedly and went home, but I could not sleep. How have I received such a blessing? I can go to heaven, though I die today. I live by the grace of the Lord, though I live today. I could not get out of the pot of happiness. This is the blessing that we have received through the birth of Jesus. Those who have received this will know what it is. If you understand, please say Amen. Jesus was not born in a palace to die for us, but born in Bethlehem on purpose. He escaped to Egypt because Herod 
was going to kill him. And then he returned to a town called Nazareth. Nazareth was not a good place to live. It was not the place that anything good could come from there. Philip found Nathaniel and told him, We have found the Son of God. Where did you meet him? In Nazareth. Nazareth? Can anything good come from there? Nathaniel asked. Come and see. When my church members evangelize, they said to the one who does not want to come to church, come and listen to my pastor's sermon. So they came to church and believed in Jesus, that they were healed and saved. They confessed that, wow, he really is God. Jesus whom the pastor says is my Savior, he healed my death and disease. How many of my church members confessed like that? Yeah. Jesus was the son of a carpenter. There were 23 jobs graded at that time. Carpenter was ranked 19th. The carpenter received a small daily wage. There are some carpenters who received a lot of daily wage in Korea, but at that time, they received a tiny daily wage. He hid his position as the Son of God and came like a little lamb to die to take my sin as the lamb was killed for the Jewish people in the Old Testament times. If you welcome that Jesus, please say Amen. Mark chapter 10, verse 49 says, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Lord's sacrifice was for me. Jesus gave his life as a ransom for many. If the life of Jesus has become yours, please say amen. Is there any hope in the world? There is no hope in the world. I thought that Paul suffered the most for the Lord. He fulfilled the will of the Lord, the best, and lived for his time of hope, though I am lesser than him. I try to imitate him. Why? I have received grace, the Holy Spirit, which Paul received, and I heard the voice of the Lord, which Paul heard. I have seen Jesus, whom Paul saw. Then how can I live for the Lord? Why? Life is very valuable. There is no hope in the world. Man wants to make money, have fame, and power to gratify the desires of sinful nature. Dear brothers and sisters, what is destruction on this earth? So many people in the world live to get money, fame, and power. Dear brothers and sisters, ask to the passengers in Incheon Airport why they work. They are going somewhere for money, fame, power, lust, and the desires of the sinful nature. When I was preaching to some Korean Americans called diaspora, I asked them 
Why are you here? You came here to be rich. Are you rich now? One generation has passed by, and the next is coming. Then, if you die, where will your soul go? Who is the happiest one? He is the one who has Jesus birth in the manger 2,000 years ago in him. And was resurrected. I am in my Father. You are in me. And I am in you. You may ask me for anything in my name. And I will do it. Say Believe in Jesus. It means that you stop that you are being destroyed. You turn back from the way to hell. It means that you believe in Jesus and go to heaven. But people think that Christians are crazy. They say, we don't know what they are doing in this busy world. They go to the early morning prayer meeting. They have Friday night prayer meeting. And post-cell meeting, they pray every day in the evening, evangelize and obey the Lord. They should attend Sunday service regardless of leaves falling in autumn or if it is frozen in winter. So they think that Christians are boring. They don't understand Christians, so they can think that. If you know why you're here, please say Amen. Anybody may say we are happy. Hallelujah. How happy we are. People are struggling not to die. Please save me. I will pay at any expense. You cannot be saved by money. You have been devoted to money. And believe it will help you at any time. But it is not helpful. Are you devoted to such a thing? You and I can say to the Lord, Thank you, Lord, before we die. When we finish our journey of life, we can go to the kingdom of heaven by the blood of Jesus, where the Lord is, and there will be no more death, mourning, crying, or pain. You should be the one who can face death with thanksgiving. It is faith. They who understand the birth of Jesus will have the joy. If you understand, please say Amen. So many people listen to, believe in Jesus, live your faith, life well. But so many of them live fast. They seem to be a saint in the church, but they commit all kinds of sins, like the wolf in sheep clothing. Burning up their desires of sinful nature. What shall they do? They have nothing to do with the birth of Jesus. Dear Yonsa Central members, I hope you will all be taken up to heaven when the Lord comes again. Though we die today, we should meet in heaven. The most successful in the world is the one who goes to heaven. Is there anyone else who is more successful than that? The world is in the darkness. So they don't know that what they are doing is destructive and cursed. They don't know whether it is the devil's work or not. They don't know whether they are doing is sin or not. However, they are told what is right, they like the world. There is an old song, get a rose while you may. What shall they do if they waste away their youth days? We should make up our minds to live in Jesus. Drinking his blood and eating his flesh, giving thanks to the Lord, fulfilling his will, waiting for the Lord and going to heaven. 
who is this? Those who fulfill the purpose of Christmas. That is the blessing which fulfills the purpose of Jesus' birth as salvation. Dear brothers and sisters, the devil sees darknesses, lies, and death. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 13, the devil is called the powers of this dark world. The powers of this dark world prevent us from meeting Jesus. Many deacons and elders live their lives having nothing to do with Jesus. Why is that? Because they cannot hear the voice of Jesus. They are deceived by the devil, saying, You have a good house, a good car, and children. You stay in peace. So now you have nothing to worry about. However, in fact, they lack a very important thing. They are ruled by the sinful nature. I'm not saying that I don't want you to make money. But what should be our priority? It is that we should not be deceived by the devil spirit. Money is not the best. Neither are authority and faith. They will vanish one day when our lives end. They are in vain. However, our faith will be veiled forever as soon as our lives end. It is so great. I bless you in Jesus' name to have the faith of the holy birth of Jesus as your portion. Who can take this blessing away? The world seems to laugh at Christmas Day. People turn Christmas Day into the day for Santa and song. Passing through the snow on a one-horse open fly. Look, Yes, yeah,大家一起来，我们一起来，我们一起来，我们一起来，我们一起来，我们一起来，我们一起来，我们一起来，我们一起来，我们一起来，我们一起来，我们一起来，我们一起来，我们一起来，我们一起来，我们一起来，
사람은 호랑이도 아무것도 없다는 거예요. 바로 뭐 멀리 있는 거 꼬리 덮지 꼬리를 딱 끌어도 suffocate and swallow them. 감아서 숨통이 딱 떨어지면 입딱 벌리고 그냥 집어넣는 거예요. 집어넣는 거. 이렇게 마귀 역사는 of the devil is very similar. In the way snakes eat their food. Therefore, it is impossible to escape from the devil. Have you ever heard about anyone who escaped from a huge snake such as an anaconda? The devil prepares so many interesting resources to attack us and make us decadent in spirit. Therefore, whoever is not aware of the work of the devil can easily be tempted by their traps. Our children spend time playing games without letting their parents know. How about adults? They also commit sins without letting their family know. And they think it is interesting. However, once they are deeply involved in these sins, their lives end. Therefore, we must be alert just like Jonah. When people creep on sinning, it shows they belong to the devil. Only Jesus can save us from the work of the devil. If you understand, please say Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, people think that enjoyment and self-indulgence are very interesting. Hence, there is no reason to stop doing this. Who can stop them from doing these things? Who can even think of the spiritual world in history? Dear brothers and sisters, that is why Jesus had to come down to the world. He came to save us from these miserable circumstances and said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. The Bible says that the devil is the power of this dark world. It means that he is the ruler of the world. And when Jesus broke into the world, he came down as the official status of heaven and announced, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. It means when you accept Jesus as your Savior and repent, heaven will occupy your spirit and the kingdom of heaven will come upon you. In the Bible, Jesus said, this is how you should pray. Your kingdom come. If you do, the power of the devil in you will be driven out by the righteous of God and the kingdom of heaven will come upon you. The devil is my enemy that destroys me by making me sin. Be sick and be cursed. To be saved from the devil, I need the official status, the kingdom of heaven. For this reason, John the Baptist announced, the kingdom of heaven is near. In Matthew chapter 12, if I drive out demons by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When the Holy Spirit comes upon me with the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God has the power in me. Using the Bible, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes 
comes on you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. The power of heaven can raise the dead and heal livers and the crippled. Hallelujah. In other words, the power of heaven starts to destroy the power of the devil to establish the kingdom of heaven. I bless that in Jesus' name, your spirits will be so holy that God can come upon you for this reason. Jesus came as a lamb, died on the cross, resurrected, and is now sitting on the right side of God to give us the kingdom of heaven. I bless you in Jesus' name to have the kingdom of God in you through this Christmas day. Righteous God, declare world saying, Repent, the kingdom of heaven is near. For the word of sin, curses, destruction, wrath, and hell. In other words, the Son of God came to destroy the work of the devil. He came to fight. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, For we are not fighting against people made of flesh and blood, but against the evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against those mighty powers of darkness who rule this world, and against wicked spirit in the heavenly realms. The scripture says that we must fight against the enemies in the world to stand before God. Our fight is against the evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world. That is why it is easy to sin and difficult to pray, evangelize, and live by the word of God because there are interrupters. However, we must win against the evil rulers and go to heaven living by the word of God. To win, we need the power of Jesus. Hallelujah! The holy birth of Jesus to make this word as the nation of God. Therefore, we must pray May your kingdom come. May your will be done here on earth, just as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who have sinned against us. And do not let us yield to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Likewise, Jesus came to the world with the former authority of heaven and achieved the great history. Dear brothers and sisters, John saw Jesus come forward to him and said, Look, the Lamb who takes away the sin of the world, not his sin, the sin of the world, all sin that the devil committed using humans as their tools are taken away by Jesus. On the other hand, it is very interesting why Jesus only took away the sin of humans, not of the devil. The devil stood against God, set on a high cloud and challenged God, saying that he would be like God. And God never forgave his sin. Brothers and sisters, the holy birth of Jesus is a pleasant day to us, but a dreadful day to the devil. Hence, Christmas Day is not for philanthropy or Santa. Christmas Day was when Jesus came to save us from the work of demons. The devil and Santa. The day has a more precious meaning than philanthropy. 
Jesus said, drink my blood, eat my flesh. You stay in me and I will stay in you. Then you will be redeemed and saved. Repentance is to lay down our sins before God. And at the same time, Jesus gives us his blood to save us. We must lay down our own sins before God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is very important. Dear brothers and sisters, the world does not know about Jesus. They don't see Jesus as the Son of God. Who came and died, bleeding to save me from eternal death. But we know that Jesus is the Son of God. We have experienced disease, curses, pains, and sufferings. When someone suffers pain over their endurance, they commit suicide. I have experienced a lot of suffering mentally or in circumstances which were over my endurance. But I haven't tried to die. I thought that if it is more painful that I cannot endure, the Lord will maybe take me or not and leave me on this earth. More painful it is, the more I try to rely on Jesus. Why we should not push away the Lord? Complain, how can the Lord do this to me? I can't solve my problem because I have God. We should hold on to Him. There are many who are complaining when they are suffering. If there is God, how can He do this to me? What have I done wrong? There are so many who are saying that. The more we suffer, the more we should rely on the Lord that He can help us. Devil's work wants us to complain to the Lord and die. We should reject him. We should know the devil's scheme. We should hold on to Jesus. By his wounds, we are healed. Please say amen. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Everything is possible for him who believes. We can only overcome the suffering which is over our limitation with the power of Jesus. We cannot endure pains which are over our limit in hell because there is no Jesus we can rely on. We should rely on Jesus when we are on the earth. So Jesus came to this earth. Hallelujah. We should be thankful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jesus fed 5,000 with two fish and five ropes of bread in the wilderness. Then the Israelites misunderstood Jesus that they wanted to make him their king. He healed the crippled lepers, cast out demons, and raised the dead. They saw that he did what was impossible for man. They wanted him to be their king. To the Jews, I am the Son of God, one who has seen the Father has seen me. Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. What I do is what the Father does. 
天哪 ，Believe me, believe me when I do what my father does. He said that guy is the son of Joseph. Then why is he saying I'm the son of God and he is blaspheming against the Lord? We should not let him to do that. Jesus was making death for him, but he is the son of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They didn't regard. The son of God, Jesus as the son of God, so they laugh at him and persecute Jesus. They even nailed him on the cross as sinners. People persecuted the church because they don't know the grace of redemption and salvation. They are doing bad things to the churches. Dear brothers and sisters. If you are persecuted believing in Jesus, give thanks to the Lord. It means that you have really become the one who believes in Jesus and have become the man of Jesus who can really be persecuted. I bless you in the name of the Lord not to be troubled but be joyful. We should be thankful. Dear brothers and sisters, it is Unfortunate to misunderstand. We make a definition and understand all things according to the desire of sinful nature with arrogance, rebellion, and disobedience. And we build the tower of Babel of culture to live well. When we die and stand before God's judgment seat and cannot avoid the punishment of our souls, it is so sad. So you cannot have the holy birth of Jesus without the death of Jesus. We need his death. Then we should also die for Jesus who died for us. I should die and the Lord should live in me. The evidence for that is giving thanks to the Lord. It is praising. It is humbleness. I bless you in the name of the Lord to be the one who has the evidence. Let us share this to those who do not know about it so that they don't perish. I bless you in the name of the Lord to evangelize with the heart of Jesus so that you fulfill the purpose of why Jesus was born. I bless you in the name of the Lord to be the one who gives thanksgiving offerings for that. Hallelujah. 주님, 성탄은 내 겁니다. Let us put our hands up. Lord, the holy bird is mine, but he was pierced for our transgression. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. When this is fulfilled to you, disease, curse, and pain will leave you. Lord, help me to be free from sin caused by the devil, Satan, and demons by fulfilling the goal of the Lord coming to this earth. Tell me, Lord, to give this news to all people and give thanks to the grace of the Lord. Lord, help us to give thanksgiving sufferings that might be equal to the life of Jesus to glorify him. Let us cry out, Lord, three times and pray. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord.